Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video outlines the settings that I'm using for the 200% render scale trick in PC mode for virtual reality in Microsoft Flight Simulator using the Quest 2. My last video was based on the Reverb G2 and I've had some requests to do the Quest 2, so here it is. This is all footage straight from the Quest 2. I hope this video helps you dial in your own settings so you're able to benefit from the recent VR graphical boost. I'm using NVIDIA driver 466.77 and here are my NVIDIA graphic settings. I have hardware accelerated GPU scheduling or HAGS turned off and game mode turned off. In the Oculus app I've set the refresh rate to 120Hz with a render resolution of 4480 by 2256. This is 1.4. And I'm using the Air Link. I'm not using the Oculus Tray tool. I've turned everything off on the Oculus Debug tool, so I'm actually not using it, but I thought I'd just include it in here anyway. As you can see, the asynchronous space warp is disabled. This is the motion reprojection that's turned off. Another way of disabling ASW is when you're in VR mode, you click on Control 1 when you're in the headset when you're flying and it will disable the ASW there as well. So here are my PC settings. Notice that the render scaling is set to 200. Everything else is set to the max it can go. And here are the VR settings. Remember I've got everything set to ultra on 200 in the PC mode. And here I've got the render scaling set to 90 because I'm getting the best performance from these settings. You might want to experiment with these settings and see how it affects your system. Remember guys, you've got to be patient with this. There's no exact formula. So I'll leave you here with the footage. I've got five different tests. I'm using different aircraft and different locations and different weather to give you guys a variety of different scenarios to look at. You can see the FPS counter there is showing the performance of the sim. When I fly over Seattle later in the video, it goes down to about 20 at some points, but it's still so smooth. So that was in the airliner over Seattle without ASW. So it's still good. The rest of the flights are fine. The FPS stays between 30 and 40, which gives a very good and clear and smooth experience, along with the highly detailed saturated graphics that you can see in the headset as I speak. Just remember to try setting these settings up in flat screen mode first, try it out, go into VR mode. If that doesn't work, enter VR mode and then go in and set all the settings up and see if it works. It's just trial and error guys. I don't know the exact way of doing it, but mine seems to work every time now. You do have to reset the 200% render scale in the PC mode every time you start the sim. So remember to do that too. And just try and be patient and methodical about it. And eventually you will get it to work because there's no reason why some people's aren't working and some people's are. It could be a setting unrelated to the graphical settings, but I doubt it. So as far as I know, just trial and error, guys. Keep trying it. I know people have taken a few hours to get it. People have taken a few days. It took me a few days. Um, so good luck with it. I hope it works for you. And let me know if you've got any questions. Anyway, I hope you find this video helpful. Please like and subscribe if you like the content. And thanks again for those of you who have subscribed. I really enjoy making these videos and helping you guys dial in your system so you can really enjoy VR. And once again, I hope this video helps all Quest 2 users. Please do feel free to leave your comments or questions in the comments section below and I'll try and help you out as best I can. As always guys, take care and stay safe.